we have already tested the RTX 5080 and we know exactly what this GPU can deliver in terms of raw performance. But today isn't about the chip itself. It's about a very different take on it, the Asus ProArt RTX 5080. Unlike the usual gaming focus designs, this one is also built with creators in mind with a completely different approach to design ports and overall aesthetics. The real question is how much does the ProArt RTX 5080 actually differ from the standard gaming versions and who is it really for? ProArt RTX 5080 comes in packaging with Asus signature ProArt branding, a large image of the card on the front side and the key specs and features listed on the back. Inside you will find the sleek black box holding the GPU along with a set of accessories, a warranty card, a thank you card, a quick start guide and instructions for included GPU holder. There's also three 8-pin to one 16-pin 12V edge power connector or adapter plus the GPU holder itself which doubles as both a screwdriver and a ruler. It's small but clever addition that shows Asus paid attention to very small details. Instead of an aggressive gaming aesthetic, Asus went with a minimalist design, elegant, understated and equally at home in a professional workstation or a gaming rig. The card uses a triple fan cooler with Asus Axial Tech fans and a vapor chamber, but the overall footprint is more compact, 2.4 slot thick and around 30 cm long, making it a solid option for small form factor builds. On the top edge there's performance slash quiet by a switch that lets you choose between maximum cooling or quieter operation. One of the standout touches is the dark wood pattern trim with the gold accent running along the side of the card. Even though it's plastic of course, the texture looks surprisingly premium and gives the GPU a unique visual identity. RGB lighting is subtle here, just a ProArt logo that lights up when the system is on, customizable via Armory Crate. When it comes to ports, the ProArt RTX 5080 brings one big difference compared to the standard gaming models, alongside two display ports, 2.1B outputs and one HDMI 2.B, you also get USB Type-C port with display output support. That feature is clearly aimed at creators, perfect if you are using portable monitors or want to daisy chain multiple displays without relying on extra adapters. In practice it means more flexibility and a cleaner setup, especially for professionals working with modern displays workflows. For power the card uses a single 16 pin 12 volt edge power connector which is current standard across high end Nvidia GPUs. The Asus ProArt RTX 5080 impressed us with its balance of cooling and acoustics. At maximum fan speed the GPU stayed between 54 and 58 degrees Celsius while memory hovered around 62 Celsius. Those are really excellent results showing just how efficient Asus cooling solution really is. At no point did the card approach any unsafe thermal territory. I mean, in more realistic scenarios, with noise normalized to 45 decibel around 52% fan speed, the card becomes virtually silent. In this mode, the GPU levels out to around 70 degrees Celsius, while memory average is about 76 Celsius, with occasionally peaks up to 78. I would put that in the yellow zone, not dangerous, but warm enough that some users might prefer more aggressive cooling setups. Of course, you shouldn't expect the same thermal performance as Asus massive energy models, but for such a compact ProArt design, these are still very solid results. And if the 45 decibel profile feels too warm for your taste, you can always ramp up the fans, you will hear them more, but in return both GPU and memory will run noticeably cooler. When it comes to raw performance, there are no surprise here, the ProArt RTX 5080 use the same GPU cheap as the ROG models, which means gaming and benchmark results are practically identical. I've already done a deep dive 45 minute review of the ROG RTX 5080 where I covered everything in detail, 4K, 4K gaming, benchmarks, RTX and DLSS performance, comparisons against the previous generation and closer look at the Blackwell architecture. And of course, if you want to dig into the numbers and see how this GPU really performs, I highly recommend checking out that review link is in the description of this video. For this video, it's enough to say that the ProArt RTX 5080 delivers the same power just wrapped in design that's aimed at creators and more compact builds. 
The Asus ProArt RTX 5080 is a great example of how high-end GPU doesn't need to look aggressive to be a serious option. Instead of, let's say, typical RG monsters, here you get a more refined design with wood accents, USB-C display port and compact dimensions that fit just as well in a professional fork station as they do in a gaming setup. Performance is right on the pair with the ROG versions, meaning the Blackwell chip delivers top-tier results in both games and creative applications, cooling is stable and well-balanced with, let's say, flexibility to choose between near-silent operation or lower temperatures. Of course, this isn't the card for those who want the full-on gaming spectacle with massive coolers and RGB everywhere, but for users who value design pra practically and silence, the ProArt RTX 5080 is perfect fit. And of course, if you find this review helpful, consider subscribing for more tests like this. If not, that's fine for me too. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.